Good evening, medicos. Welcome to Medical Students Corner. Myself, Dr. Krishnishuri. Today is Sunday, and as we all know, today is our ECG day. Is it not? In the last session on ECG, we were discussing about the leads, that is, uh, limb leads of ECG, both unipolar and bipolar limb leads. We have discussed today. We are going to discuss about the chest leads and we are where we have to keep the chest leads in order to get the electrical activity of the heart. Okay. So, we are discussing about the standard 12 lead ECG. In a 12 lead ECG, in the last class we discussed that there will be 10 electrodes and 12 leads. Is it not? So, today we will see the position of the chest leads. Okay. So, chest leads in ECG. So, there are 6 chest leads, 6 chest leads, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. Okay, so we will see the position of chest leads. So, this is manubrium sternae, this is body of sternum. So, the ribs which connects the angle. Sternal angle is the second rib. This is third, this is fourth, this is fifth, and this is sixth. Two, three. Okay. This is the second rib. So, this is the first intercostal space. This is the second intercostal space. Third, fourth, fifth intercostal space. Is it not? So, here, what? Uh, behind the clavicle, there is the first rib, is it not? So, the space between the first and the second rib is the first intercostal space. Like that. Second, third, fourth and fifth intercostal space. This is the right side of the patient and this is the left side of the patient. Now, let us see the position of chest leads in ECG. So, first, first lead is V1. Okay. The lead V1 is placed in the fourth intercostal space. Fourth intercostal space is in the near to the right sternal border. So, we will be keeping V1 here. V1. Okay. Fourth intercostal space in the right sternal border. Then, next V2. V2 is placed in the uh, fourth intercostal space in the left sternal border. So, V2. Okay. We have placed V1 here. V2 here. Next, we are going to place V4. So, this is clavicle. This is the mid clavicular line. Then, this is the anterior axillary line. This is the mid axillary line. And in back, it is the what? Posterior axillary line. So, V1, V2. Then, we are going to place a. Please be careful. We are going to place the fourth. Okay fourth chest lead. So, V4 will be placing the V4 in the left fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. Fifth left intercostal space we are going to place V4. Then what about V3? We haven't placed V3, is it not? So, we will be placing V3 in between V2 and V4. You understand? In between V2 and V4 we are placing V3. Okay, so for better understanding, I am drawing like this. We will not be getting this much of space while placing chest leads in a normal human being. Okay, for better understanding, I am drawing like this. Next, V5. V5, we are placing in the fifth left intercostal space in the anterior axillary line. Anterior axillary line. This is anterior axillary line. This is middle axillary line. This is mid clavicular line. For better understanding, I am drawing like this. In the normal human being, the chest leads will be placed very much nearer. Okay. Then V6. V6, we are placing it in the left fifth intercostal space in the mid axillary line. You understand? So, these are the positions of the chest leads in a standard 12 lead ECG. You understand? So, there are 6 chest leads. V1, we are placing in the 4th right intercostal space in the sternal border. Uh, then uh, V2, 4th left side in the 4th intercostal space. Uh, 
nearer to the left sternal border b4 we are placing in the mid axillary line fifth left intercostal space v3 in between v2 and v4 v5 we are placing in the left fifth intercostal space in the anterior axillary line and v6 in the middle axillary line left fifth intercostal space you understand so these are the position of chest leads in a standard 12 lead ECG. Now you have understand what are the leads, what are the electrodes, what are the types of leads in an 12 lead ECG and where is the position of the leads. Is it not? Okay. Before concluding, I will say something that is this, uh, suppose this is a human being. You think like that. Okay. Yeah. Human being. Okay. For better understanding, we will draw like this. So this chest leads. Okay, chest leads will be viewing the person in a horizontal plane, horizontal plane. So, this is the view of the chest leads, okay, in a horizontal plane. What is horizontal plane? Horizontal plane is the plane which divides a person into an upper part and a lower part. There will be an upper part, there is a lower part. That is horizontal plane. There will be upper part, there is a lower part. And this chest leads will be viewing the person in a horizontal plane. What about limb leads? Okay, unipolar. Both unipolar and bipolar limb leads will be viewing the person in a frontal plane. Limb leads will be viewing the person in a frontal plane. Suppose this is a person you think and this is the like this he is seeing sideways sideways so the plane is plane will be like this that is this plane will be dividing the person uh, into a front part and a back part front part and back part okay so suppose i am standing like this and my frontal plane will be like this like this so that so that it divides my body into a front part and back part. You understand? Anterior part and posterior part. So, this limb leads will be viewing the person uh, in a frontal plane. That is all the limb leads. And chest leads will be viewing the person in a horizontal plane. You understand? So, these are the leads of ECG. And also position of leads in a. Uh, and in order to get a electrical activity of the heart. You understand hope you understand if you are happy with the session please subscribe share to your friends uh, you are free to give suggestions to our channel so happy learning next class will be meeting with another class uh, on ECG thank you so much